Hey there, this is Daniel from 502 Bad Gateway Incorporated. Uh, today we're demoing Purple Knight from Semperis, an active directory scanning and auditing software that is completely free to use. Uh, this uh, software kind of scans your directory from a bird's eye view, kind of the attacker's point of view, and acts as your security analyst in a box. A great free tool, especially for folks who are early in their IT career. Uh, this isn't a tool that fixes the problems, it just lets you know where they are. So think about it as somebody who points out where you need to patch up with a little bit of duct tape. So we're going to dive into a report I've already ran. Uh, this is on a very simple Active Directory setup. It's actually just assignment two from NetW. Uh, it, and that's why it's doing so well, because there's not a whole lot of complexity to it. Uh, but there are still some things that we could fix up here. So let's uh, take a look at the report. From here, you can see our assessment report, which gives us a overview kind of the information on the, the directory, our criticals, our uh, ranking, same that we would see before, warnings, informational. This is in Active Directory, so this can scan other things such as Entra or cloud software, uh, as well as different settings. We'll mostly be looking at Active Directory and account security, uh, but you can see the, the Kerberos as well too, all things we've worked on in class. Here we can see our Active Directory results, each separated into different sections, everything from account security, group policy, Kerberos, things that we recognize and have seen in class before. Purple Knight breaks these categories down and lets us know both our passes, our fails, where we're doing things right, where we're doing things wrong, and lets us shore up that Active Directory security. And again, this is all based on established industry standard or frameworks like Meter, uh, as well as in this section you can see it gives us a description, the likelihood of compromise. It points us in the right direction to how we can fix these security holes, or in this case, where it's at 100, how we're doing well. We're going to take a look at one of our critical errors, and it's something we've seen before. Privileged users with weak password policy. These are the big ones that jump out to Purple Knight as, hey, this is something you should fix right now. And as we saw, where everything's broke down, that read more link will bring you right where you need to go to find out more about it. With this, Obviously, we know that since this is based on an assignment, this is failing because our privileged users have the password, password. But a neat thing about this right here is it'll even show us which accounts are particularly compromised. So if you see down here, uh, we've got, by distinguished names, all our administrative users and none of them have any policy applied that... Uh, that really keeps us secure here. Uh, so it's pointed us in the right direction. We're gonna boot up our group policy manager and take a look at that good old my initials netw domain policy. In here, we'll be able to navigate to our password policy and kind of take using that report, we know that it doesn't have, but again, it doesn't have uh, the right length requirement and it doesn't do enough uh, auditing. So we'll go right down, drill right until we get to that password length, knock it up to like a nice solid 12. Remember to apply it, unlike me. Uh, and then we're going to do that length audit uh, because we do know that most of these other settings are pretty solid. So uh, go to that length audit, define the policy. Let's say that if something goes under 10, then it audits it. Now this would be weird because we do have a minimum password length of 12, but this is this is just to get a good idea how the, the software works. Now that we've got that in there, we're going to use PowerShell to update our group policy. Purple Knight's not going to be able to catch anything that's not actually applied, so let's throw that in. Give it a wait, and then once we're done here, we'll run that report again, and we'll be able to see just how easy it is to use this software. Uh, hit new scan. Define, your, uh, define which Active Directory you're going in. So for example, if you worked in a place where that had, for example, a dev environment and you've played around or had some security issues that 
uh, you're simulating. You may not want to scan, you know, your development domain. You just want to scan your production domain. So let's run that. Make sure that we have all the settings. We're just going to do a full scan since, again, this, this is not a very big one. And you can see how it operates really quickly. Now, again, this is just two computers on this as it's one of the older assignments. So make sure to designate enough time to run these reports as your network scales and grows. Now we come back to our report and criticals are fixed. We used the software to identify a deficiency and then use the tools we already had to fix it ourselves. And this is the beauty of this tool and why it's so great for professionals at the start of the careers like us. We may be in a situation where we're the entire IT department, where we don't have a security analyst yelling at us to fix our Active Directory because we are the security analyst. By using the tool, we free up a bit more time to fix these errors and rather than kind of hunting them out because it's easy to forget things and it's easy to cause more problems as you fix problems. This just kind of helps you from chasing your tail. So thank you very much for watching the presentation. I've been Daniel. I've done the voice. Uh, this has been edited by Nathaniel Burke. And Purple Knight is copyright of Semparis. Thank you.